I mean, I was ecstatic. I was excited. You know, I, I've been ready to open since April. Chef James Avery was all ready to go rogue and offer indoor dining Monday at his Asbury Park eatery, the Bonnie Reed, after the city council voted this week to defy Governor Murphy's executive order restricting restaurants to outdoor seating only. We flattened the curve. We've done that. We've done the work. And I, I, I think it's, you know, I was excited to hear that the town was supporting getting some people back inside of businesses. The city's new ordinance had followed Murphy's general reopening rules for non-essential businesses. Only 50 people or 25 percent capacity allowed inside, complete with PPEs and social distancing. The council just added restaurants to the list of businesses allowed to offer indoor service on Monday. And even the 25 percent capacity is it's not a lot when you're socially distancing these tables. It doesn't leave a whole lot of room for earning a living. I think we need it. We need to show support to our community. Councilwoman Eileen Chapman said Asbury's got 80 restaurants and one's already gone belly up during the lockdown. Their summer season's ticking away, but the city's rebellious tactics today drew a sharp rebuke from Murphy with a side order of legal action. We have one set of rules and they are based on one principle and that is ensuring public health. The attorney general will be bringing a lawsuit as we speak against Asbury Park to enforce our orders. That and the possibility of losing his liquor license made Avery decide to shelve plans for indoor dining. I can't afford a huge fine, so you know we're really in a, a rock and a hard place. But again, I go back to how does a man fine us if he's not following his own executive order. Some critics claim Governor Murphy broke his own executive order when he marched in Black Lives Matter protests, but several restaurants here say they just don't want a food fight with the governor. I think that the metrics that are being measured are beyond me. You know, I'm a musician, restaurant owner, and I'm not a scientist. So I have put in my uh, or with uh, the governor. Restaurateur Tim McClune will follow Murphy's rules and offer outdoor service only on Monday. So will Porta and its sister establishments where workers prepped patio sets today. We're setting up, we're getting ready for that, we're getting staffed. Um, but we just feel we can't take any more risks with possibly being shut down by the state, our licenses, calling people back to work and then having to let them go because... We don't have, um, you know, the, the schedule. Restaurant owners insist they appreciate the city's good intentions. Asbury officials say they will still try to hash it out amicably with the governor. In Asbury Park, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.